In this video, I'm going to delve into the reasons why I strongly advise against watching Dolby Vision movies or TV shows from the Apple Store or iTunes. Remarkably, Dolby Vision content from iTunes exhibits an unusual issue, it tends to have excessively bright and washed out colors when compared to other streaming services or even HDR10. This peculiar color distortion can be traced back to the Dolby Vision color reshaping metadata within the RPU. What's striking is that Apple applies the same static color reshaping to all of its content, regardless of whether it's their original stuff or not. This uniform approach results in colors appearing paler and less accurate than intended. Personally, I find this practice quite disconcerting, as it seems to undermine the efforts put into the original HDR grading process. It might have been more tolerable if each movie or TV show had unique reshaping metadata, but regrettably, that's not the case. Apple employs the same static metadata across all of its content and none of the other streaming service is doing that. I'll now guide you through the process of identifying and locating the static color reshaping metadata within the RPU file using the Dolby Vision scripts and later in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what the difference is in PQ HDR.